Hi, guys. It's me. Uh, this guy is currently active and probably might still text me. This is going to be a short video. Um, this has got to be the worst English I've ever come across. So meet Jimmy Barnes again, right? So for a bit of context, Jimmy had a concert last night, so has been pro uh, posting prolifically because he's recovered from um, open heart surgery. So obviously I'm commenting, massive fan. So they've crawled out of the woodwork and it's a little after 9am in Nigeria at the time of recording. So this one wanted to uh, friend me on Facebook. I said, oh goody, just what I need, another Jimmy, because 50 is not enough, apparently. What are you talking about? Came the response. I said, that you're like the 50th fake Jimmy to message me just this month, mate. And all using the same script, saying the same thing in bad English, trying to tell me they're Aussie, laughing emoji. I said, you see, it's 9am now, so you all come crawling out like rats from the flooded dunny. To which my my absolutely 100% Australian superstar responded with, what nonsense are you talking about? You have to know that I am a very sincere man and I can never pretend to be another person because that will be the highest level of stupidity. Oh, you haven't seen the highest level of stupidity yet. To which I said, really? That's funny because Jimmy knows exactly what I'm talking about. He's made a PSA about it and all, but you wouldn't know a rumple sortie from a billabong, would you, cobber? Now, rumple sortie, I just made that up, right? But he doesn't know. This is the reason why I don't chat with people in a private account because they will be taking me as the other people cleaning. They was me. You have the right to say it. You don't trust me because what you have go true before, informs my Muppet. I said, yes, yes, the same script, like I said, and unable to sound even passably dinky die Aussie in the process. Here I was hoping you'd at least have some imagination and not act like a child throwing a tantrum, but instead like the mature man you're pretending to be. Oh, well, good luck and make better choices with your life. You'll never get clients this way. And then I added, and yikes, your English might be worse than the last ones and sent that shock-faced emoji that I like so much. I don't really know what you are talking about, came the response. This is going to get harder to read, guys. To which I said, exactly. Jimmy does, though. Given yourself away already, old mate, didn't you? The PSA, the docos, the news reports, dot, 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 dot. This is the May reason I hate to chat some of my clients, note clients, with my private inbox because a lot of people are out there pretending to be me like the way you are saying. To which I said, by the way, Jimmy writes books, so we're all familiar with his writing and speaking. And in response to his ridiculous uh, rubbish, I said, oh, you suddenly remembered, did you? Your English didn't improve, though, did it? You can't fool an Aussie. Funny you said clients, too. Slip of the tongue. A real Freudian slip there, which obviously went over our scammer's head. And in response to, oh, suddenly you remembered, didn't you? Your English didn't improve. Oh, that let you bot fucky fool of yourself. Just keep this to notice that English must not fuckly be the same at all times. <laughs> Sorry. I said, your pigeon's showing my little muggle. The last three were better than you. At least they tried to sound convincing. You don't really need to know all, I don't really know all muggle you are taking about, came the intelligent Australian response, to which I said two laughing emojis. I said, you know anything about Jimmy? It's clear you don't. My guess, you're about 17. To which my scammer goes, I'm real, I'm real, but if you still don't believe, you can skip chating with me. As a can, see, so far I have a lot on me heard to attend. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, and in response to I'm real, I'm real, but if you uh, still don't believe, you can skip chating with me. I said, darling, your English is so poor, I'm surprised you get anyone chatting with you at all. I think I'm the only one you got, to be honest. The real Jimmy. Now he's something else and loves a good yarn. And in response to, as you can see so far, I have a lot on me heard to attend. I said, what? Speak English, please. Correct, intelligent English. 
And in response to, do you know anything about Jimmy? My idiot scammer says, why are you even fucky say this? I'm Jimmy and I'm real. You are, are still asking uh, me if I know about Jimmy. Sorry, the lighting here is really bad and my eyes aren't great. So which I said, laughing emojis. I said, oh my God, your English is getting worse and worse. This is hilarious. Are you getting all triggered now? Not having much luck getting clients who will remit this morning? Question mark, question mark. I said, I'm not surprised. Me, on the other hand, know everything about Jimmy. And I mean everything. Dot, 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 dot. And in response to, I'm not surprised, me, on the ha other hand, know everything. He goes, yeah. I said, yep. I said, that's the problem with contacting fans, isn't it? You will never know enough to be convincing. To which he says, I'm J-O-K, -okay, Jimmy, and I'm not uh, about myself. <laughs> Whatever that is. I said, what? I don't speak pigeon. You might like to try English. It helps with verisimilitude. Are you really for real? Came the absolutely incredulous response, not comprehending a word I've said so far. To which I said, yes. One of us has to be, because you screwed the pooch on this one royally. To which he says, because I view a lot of edited chat from you. I said, the real Jimmy would have no issues proving himself, but you won't, because you can't. And in response to because I view a lot of edited chat from you, I said, that may be the most coherent sentence you've written. Well done. Bravo. Good boy. You're learning. I just told you that I'm Jimmy. I know a lot a bit myself. You should not be the one to force to. Again, whatever that meant. So I sent laughing emojis. I went, dearie me, did you hit your head? Okay, then prove it. I dare you. But you won't. You just don't have the right accent, do you? To which he says, sincerely speaking, I do not have any tangible reason from you to describe myself for you. <laughs> tangible. I said, oh, question mark, question mark. Oh my God, this is just getting funnier and funnier. And in response to do you, meaning the accent, he goes, what is getting funnier? I said, you and your terrible English. Can't you even pretend to sound Aussie? I mean, Google it if you don't know. To which he said, you are the one Moogle. Uh, yourself because I don't have any fuck cocky time to waste here. <laughs> I said, you'd think that was the first thing you guys would do, but no, too eager for the remittance. And in response to you are the one muggle yourself because I don't have any fuck cocky time to waste here. I said, there you are, finally. How's the morning over there? Still, um, after giving yourself away like eight times, you persist with this nonsense. To which he says, if you don't have any reasonable vocabulary, you can please excuse me. I said, if you looked for work this hard, you wouldn't be making fake profiles online and trying to get clients. Is it just easier or are you lazy? Because this isn't easy for you. Trust me. You think I don't know what Jimmy sounds like, what his writing style is. Seriously? So he's active now. I'm waiting for him to come back. So I'm just going to pause this video and see if he does before I post it. I just thought that was a little bit of lighthearted fun. Oh, actually, maybe we'll do a couple of scam fouls while we wait for our idiot Jimmy. Hold on. Like I said, lots of Jimmy Barneses today. Meet Jimmy Barnes. Um, and he tried to follow me on um, Facebook. So just think very, very carefully before you try and hit up an Aussie using the name and face of the most famous Aussie ever. Just think hard whether you even have the knowledge, let alone the English skills to pull this off. Just a friendly piece of advice, that's all. To which he got back to me a few hours later. This is my private account. Well, don't be surprised getting a text from me. I felt texting a fan to know how they feel about me and also carry them along with my career and make friends too. Thanks for supporting my careers, my lady. This is my own way of showing appreciation. Prayer hands or high five or whatever that is. He continues, my goal is to relate peacefully with my supporter on this platform while upholding 100% respect for each and everyone's support of my works. To which I said, so you didn't read what I wrote and you certainly didn't think very hard before doing this. Deary, deary me. Don't you know that I can tell simply by how you write that you aren't an Aussie? And it's clear I was right to send you that piece of advice which you should have heeded. 
To which my Jimmy says, yes, it is me. Say it with me, guys. I hate all these questions. Why will I have the desire to tell you that I am someone else? By most celebrities out there refuse to connect with their fans because a lot of persons out there are only after fame. To which I said, wow, you just had to use the script, didn't you? Well, that's a wrap for you and this little effort of yours. Tisk tisk, how disappointing. Why isn't a single one of you guys original? I know the entire script off by heart now. To which he says, it hurts me so much that my fans couldn't recognize me anymore because of those imposter out there. To which I said, oh God, please give me a scammer with brains and originality. No, you just have to get every sentence of that script out, completely showing yourself uh, to be not an Aussie. Make better choices with your life, mate. At which point he blocked me. Oh, let's see if I have another. I'm sure I do. Oh. Meet Jimmy Barnes fan page. Very short because I actually had my account blocked so I couldn't continue the conversation. So I'm not accepting friend requests from people claiming to be famous. Thanks. Hey, fans, came the response. Do you mean I claim to be famous? I said, your profile states you're Jimmy Barnes, correct? Well, if you're claiming that, I require proof. And if you're not saying you're famous, then what can I do for you, mate? It's uh, You're clearly a fan then. To which my Jimmy says, I am famous. I said, sure, sure, in your own mind, maybe. To which he says, I think you don't like what I do on internet. No, scammers watching, I don't like what you guys do on the internet. You're fucking disgusting. I said, I think your English shows you aren't an Aussie. You're trying to tell a fellow Aussie what Jimmy sounds like. Dude, you're tripping. You're no more Jimmy than I am Tiwa Savage, which is one of the most well-known Nigerian singers. Apologies if I mispronounced her name. Smile, came the response, showing me instantly that he wasn't Australian. Thank you, uh, thank you, like tripping. Where are you from? Is your name Tiwa Savage? He tries. And I got blocked. Yeah, I don't know if you guys recall, someone had uh, reported me for harassment and I got banned. So, unfortunately, he's no longer available um, that he, his account was taken down. See, right? I go, stop. So, yeah. So, he's no longer available. Account was taken down. So, obviously, this guy is still active. He's online trying to find clients that are going to be easier than me. I think he's going to have some issues with the way that he's writing. So, he might return and we might get a short part two of an absolute idiot. The idiot of the day, I think. So, um short video, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, more videos coming, talk to you guys soon, I love you all so much, thanks for the support, and any scammers watching, uh, you're, you're getting triggered, mate, that's it, what can I do, get a job, do the right thing, all right, bye.